So once you go to OBD 11 or VAG and you activate it, as you can see, mine was not, Audi generally will not activate that. So you would need OBD 11 or VAG. I'm gonna leave a link in the description how you can get OBD 11. I definitely recommend it. As you can see, there's so many things you can do with your vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. All you do is you take these two levers right here, your navigation in the radio and you push it forward. You hold it down at the same time. So as you can see, once you push it forward, you now have access to your green screen. So this is pretty much the engineering screen of your vehicle. And the purpose of getting to this green screen menu is to be able to unlock certain features in your car. Let's say if you bought a base model car that didn't have motorized power windows and you bought some aftermarket motorized power windows or some OEM power windows and you want to be able to utilize those, the green screen menu, you can actually go there to make them work. Or let's say, for example, in your vehicle, say you didn't have a certain MMI system and you upgrade it, this will enable it to where you can allow that to work. Let's say you felt that your navigation functions were not moving fast enough or as responsive, you can change it to make it work. Say you wanted your audio output to be a lot better, a lot louder, you can also change that. So it's limitless to what you can do. This is the engineering menu. And basically what that means is when they got all of your Audi B9s, they went halfway down the assembly line and they decided which ones they wanted to be the S class, the premium plus classes, the RS classes. And from that point, they put the specific parts on that vehicle. And they basically told this engineering screen, okay, we want to shoot the signals to those specific parts of the vehicle. So that's pretty much what it boils down to. That's why sometimes when you look in your fuse box, you may have a blank fuse area or it may not be one there. It's because your car didn't have that function available, but at any given time, you can always add that function. And that's the whole purpose in this green screen. If you have a decked out model, RS model with all the bells and whistles, I don't know that you would benefit from this, you know, but this is more of an entry level if you have a base model or you're trying to add certain features to your vehicle. So after this video, I'm gonna show you guys on my B8 slash B8.5 Audi, some of the great features you can get to on the menu. It pretty much works the same. However, the B9s are a lot more advanced. So thank you guys. So now that you're actually on this screen, the biggest question is what benefits do I have from being on this screen? So, okay. I'm gonna show you a few of the benefits that I think that you can use from being on the screen. Like I said, your car is basically a computer and this is the body, the HTML to your car. This is the matrix to your car. This is what the dealers, when they make your car, they shoot out signals for what they want to work based on what you have for your car. For example, if you have an Audi A5 and you don't have all of the features like dynamics, they come here and they have put what you have. So you won't waste energy on what you don't have, if you understand what I'm saying. So for example, if I go over here to car, and then if I go to, let's say car function list, this is gonna be, I don't have parking help one. So if I added that to my vehicle, then all I have to do is click it. You get what I'm saying? If I had that on my on my vehicle. So if I go to, uh, let's say I come over here to car device list. So uh, I don't have a sliding roof. So since I don't have a sliding roof, I don't have that function for my vehicle. I'm not sure why it's not showing a battery. Maybe it's something else that I'm not familiar with, but I don't have a sliding roof. So let's say if I wanted a sliding roof or if I added one to my car, then I just click it. Now I have a sliding roof. Oh, let me make sure I go back to that. Now, then I just click it, then I have a sliding roof. You get what I'm saying? So let's say I go to car coding. So this is gonna be updates that when you take your car to the dealership and they do updates, this is how they do the updates. As you can see, it says that my car is a left-hand 
vehicle. It says, um, I can change it to right hand if I want to. Of course, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to car device list. So if I go to car device list, I don't have this auxiliary heating. Um, I don't have air suspension on my car. Uh, so basically this is gonna show you all of the functions I have. Like for example, if I wanted to do a retrofit with um, folding mirrors, then I would basically click on this right here for folding mirrors. You get what I'm saying? So like if I go to brake assist, uh, lane change assist, I don't have that function on my car. So they didn't put that function on my car. But let's say if you do a retrofit and you buy folding mirrors or you buy something that you can utilize in your vehicle, then you will come to this green menu and you at that point would um, just turn it on and it will work for your vehicle. If I had a hybrid or you did, let's say you did a motor swap and you wanted your car to act as an S5 or an RS5 because you did a motor swap, you would have to come to this um, menu and just select it. And whatever you select, it's not gonna harm your car, but it's just gonna send signals as if it's there. I'm not sure if it's gonna cause an error message on your dash, but it will just send a signal for that specific thing. So, you know, so yeah, I, don't, I, I, can, I can dig in this forever. But I'm just trying to give you guys a general idea of why you would, you know, come here. This is, um, you know, you know, I got air conditioning, of course. So, so as I back up and just press return, all I'm doing is pressing return on the MI system. So, if I let's say I went to um, navigation. So at navigation, at that point. Okay, let's say we have the map, all right? So this basically is gonna be the speed and the scroll rate of the map. So if you want to scroll in faster or quicker, you can adjust it here. Or the pixels on how clear and the clarity you want it to be, you can just adjust it here. And you can just um, click on enable custom scrolls and you can just do it how you want if you want it to be faster. The things they don't tell you, right? I hope Audi doesn't come after me for this video. All right, so let's say we go to GPS. So GPS is gonna be the coordinates. Basically, you can find out your, let's say you get kidnapped or let's say you're stranded and they need your coordinates. Hey, guess what? This is a good way you can give them your coordinates. You know, I know there's other GPS systems, but this is just a quick hack and a quick way you can do it. So satellite info, um, basically giving you the satellite info. So basically, I just broke into the matrix of the car. Um, I think it's very self-explanatory. I don't want to go too crazy and spend too much time on this. I think you guys kind of get it. Clicking on radio. It's just showing the different things for the radio. You know, TV. You know, it shows if you had a TV in your car, tuner states and just different variables like that. So, yeah, man, this is pretty much a... I think a really good, you know, hidden feature that um, people who are really into customizing their cars or want to change the way something is functioning on your car that you can do without an OBD-11 or that you can do without a bag material. And guess what? If you want to change it back, and keep in mind, this is the RS now, but it works the same with the traditional system. If you want to take it back, the only thing you do is you just press the car button right here. Once you press car, it goes back to normal. So you don't have to worry about messing up anything. You can always go back just by holding the two buttons. But the this light can't be lit up when you press the two buttons. They both have to be. Yeah, so guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching another amazing video. Bruce Custom Motors. Appreciate all the love and support, all the new subscribers. Let's keep these videos coming. Let's keep it going. Peace.